There was no fire. Uh, what saved so many lives, I think, today is the fact that there were no fire immediately. There was smoke coming out of the ground of, of the airplane, uh, of course, but there was no, no fire, at least in my section. I couldn't see any fire. It started to happen, and then I left the plane. Then later on, you know, starting to hear some, I mean, see fire a lot more, smoke coming out, explosion coming out. At this point, I felt like most of the people were out of the plane, at least from the two sections I saw, which were the back of the plane, and so that from the behind the wings to the tail, pretty much everybody was out by the time I got out, and from the front of the wings to the first exit to the left, same thing, pretty much everybody was out. So in my head, most people made it out, which I thought was a miracle, but now I understand there might be more people missing. Was it chaos inside when this was all happening? It was chaos, a lot of, you know, First of all, there was a lot of Koreans that might not even speak English that well. Uh, but yes, it was disbelief, screaming, a bit of chaos. But I think we managed to get everybody to calm down pretty quickly and, and really started getting out and not pushing each other, not stepping on each other. And uh, So it, it felt like it went really fast. How quickly and efficiently did that seem to happen? Did they give you instructions on what to do, how to exit? The crew was overwhelmed. I mean, the crew was not expected at all. So, you know, they were trying to... You know, they were, the ones that were able were helping, the ones that were injured were not, and you know, we had to help each other out, basically. And so, were you buckled in? Like, was your body thrown around as this was happening, or do you even remember those moments? You know, it's like a Six Flags show, right? <laughs> You're tied up to your chair, and then, again, we're, we're skipping on the runway, and I felt like we were going back up. I thought maybe we'd go back up for, and start flying again, you know, trying to improvise another landing, but we went back down again. So it was, as I say, it felt like slow motion. Uh, I was still tied to my chair until I unbuckled, but our chair, the whole row was completely crushed on the, on the chairs behind. Did you, Did you tell us a little about your injuries? Um, I thought I had broken ribs. Um, they took me to the hospital. We did x-rays and I have nothing broken, luckily. And uh, they were checking for internal bleeding with a uh, CT scan. And so far they let me out thinking I'm okay. I'm, I'm hurting because uh, cartilage is bruised. Um, so it's going to hurt for several months probably. but. Uh, again, I'm very, very fortunate. Did you think you were going to make it out alive? Somehow, you know, I had a car accident when I was 20 years old, and I had a similar feeling, like everything is slow motion, but somehow I'm going to be okay. I mean, honestly, I was waiting for the plane to either stop sleeping upside down, in which case I think a lot of people would have not make it. Uh, but somehow the plane stayed on the belly, so... Did you see a lot of the other injured people? Um, I, and what, what did they, how did they appear? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear your beginning, but I heard her question, so I'll answer this one. Yeah, you, you said you, you, you saw the peers and you knew that you were coming in too low. Can you describe yeah, what you saw? Yeah, I, I fly often. I'm a windsurfer. I always like to look at the water. And uh, if you know San Francisco Airport, there's a few piers that are extending out of the runway into the water. And, you know, I could quickly, re I realized quickly, we're like, I don't know, it felt like two or three meters above, so, you know, maybe 10 feet above the water. And we're not even on the, on the runway. I don't see any runway. I just see water. So I'm realizing we're way too low, but I'm just like, ah, he's going to make it. He knows what he's doing, right? <laughs> and yeah, well, that wasn't the case. Somehow we, we hit uh, the tarmac. Did you see some of the other injured people and, and how did they appear? Yes, well, the person next to me had you know, heavy bleeding on the head, um, but he was conscious. Uh, another gentleman seemed to be pretty scared, older, but he was not too hurt at, when you look at him at least. Most of the injuries seem to be, you know, leg, cut, bruises, uh, some bleeding, but there was nothing uh, too traumatic. I was in the ambulance with two people that had, obviously, um, uh, pine, uh, sorry, uh, spine injuries. I mean, a lot of people have broken ribs, uh, bruised ribs, spine injuries. Maybe some people, you know, hopefully can walk again. Some broken bones. Um, I understand there's a few casualties as well. How are you feeling now? How I'm feeling, I'm feeling extremely lucky. I just don't even know the extent of, as I say, I felt pretty much everybody made it out alive. I don't know the stats, so I can't tell. Um, again, lucky, fortunate. Uh, my prayers and my thought was go with the people that are in the hospital or their families. Um, you know, it's a tragedy. I don't think, you know, nothing ben, could have prevented. Then, with the two people who died, is it your thought that they may have been in the back end of the plane or possibly flying the plane? I, I haven't seen any video yet. I understand that apparently the tail of the plane uh, got ejected. I think it's probably the result of the plane starting to reaccelerate when it saw that we were not going to make it and probably hit the runway. I don't know if it hit first or not. Um, when I remember going through the back, helping people and seeing the firefighter coming through the back, I couldn't tell the tail was gone. Did you get any warning that the landing wasn't going to go no. well? No. 
It was just it happened in a flash. No idea. Nobody was worried about anything. The does any people, uh, does anyone use cell phone uh, when it's landing? As you know, you're not supposed to. So I imagine you will see a lot of shots because people were holding their phones in their hands, probably in expectation to start turning them on. Um, you know, I certainly did quickly put some pictures and told people I was okay. Were you ever someone who was afraid of flying? And how about now? Um, I'm not afraid of flying. Uh, I won't be afraid of flying. I think these are extremely rare. I take more risk every day driving. Um, again, very fortunate I'm alive today to talk about it, and I hope many more are as well. But uh, I'll take the airplane again. You know, it's like I don't know what you can do again to the things. Okay, can you start your last name? So my name is Benjamin Levy, L E V Y. And where are you from? I'm originally from France. I've been 16 years in uh, Silicon Valley. I'm a partner. I'm a venture firm called Bootstrap Lab. And where do you live? I live in San Francisco. Were you coming home from? 39 years old. Are you, where were you in Korea I'm on a vacation? I was uh, for business in Korea for 10 days and then in Malaysia for another 10 days. We are running an accelerator over there, so helping tech entrepreneurs and I was on my way home. And you said you have children, right? Yes, five and three years old, two boys and I don't think they know anything that happened today. I'm not sure I will tell them. And your wife, you said, was with you, but she came back early. She came back early and she's here. How many here. days early? Uh, she, she came back five days early. For those of us who got her late, could you just say how it started? Yes. What, uh, how, I'm sorry? What was, Plain, the, what was the first indication of trouble? There was no indication. We just hit the runway and went into a crash. Um, there was no indication whatsoever. Except that it was flying low? No, we stayed on Obelia, which I think yeah. saved a lot of people. So, so. It was described as a cartwheel, that the plane did a cartwheel. Is that... No. The how plane, did it seem to you? It sounded like we about to land. The nose of the plane, as you know, goes up a little bit, and then we throw throttles, start hitting, hitting hard, and then we felt like we were going up again. So that's why I say I felt like we were got to. If the guys able to pull one of those, where I almost miss landing and go back up, and it didn't happen. We just crashed back. So as I said, if we flipped, none of us would be here to talk about it. We saw a lot of smoke. But was there a lot of smoke in the cabin? There was some smoke, not too much. As I said, the fire started afterward. So I think that's why most of us made it alive. Some um, people have said that it felt very low to the ground. Is that something that you felt? Well, we obviously missed the runway, so we were too low too soon. You think the pilot just was flying too low or something wrong with the plane? It didn't seem anything wrong with the plane. People ask about the speed of the plane and if we went down, but... Um, nothing seemed too unusual, honestly. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm going to be going, sorry? Uh, I was sitting on seat 30K, which is by the window, just behind the wing. No one in front of us, so uh, that also probably protected me. The fact that no seats got crushed into me. Um, so again, very lucky.